We're back again with more mini PCs, and today we're going to be taking a look at B-Link Seer Pro Series for the 5800H. If you've been following this channel, you know that we did a previous review of the Seer 4. With the release of the Seer 5, I want to see how it holds up and if it's worth the upgrade. We review tech products to help you find the best selection of electronics from mechanical keyboards, gaming peripherals, and PC hardware. I would really appreciate it if you guys can take this moment to support us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. Here we are with B-Link Seer 5800H. This mini PC is the updated addition to the Seer Pro series, replacing the now discontinued Seer 4800U. Quite similar to its predecessor, this PC shares a similar build with updated hardware that will go more in depth in this review. To start things off, let's take a look at what's included in the package. The product model and specifications can be found around the box, but we're more interested in what's inside. Here's a manual telling you everything you need to know about the unit. This is the power adapter. You have a long HDMI cable and a short HDMI cable. This is the mounting bracket. And finally, the device itself. Now taking a first look at the unit, you can see that it resembles the same build as the Seer 4. It maintains that nice compact design with the red and black colorway. If we take a look at the front side starting from the left, we have the clear CMOS hole. This is for those that tinker with the BIOS and would need a force reset if you made an oopsie. Next we have two Gen 3 USB slots. On the right of that is a USB-C connectivity that can also display an output of 4K resolution. Following along the side is a 3.5mm headphone jack and most importantly, the power button. Taking a look on the back side, again from the left, we have the Gigabit LAN port Ethernet connection. You have two additional Gen 3 USB slots, two HDMI slots capable of outputting 4K res. If combined with the USB-C output in the front, this would allow you to display 4K resolution on three monitors simultaneously. The last connectivity is the DC port for the power adapter, and there are three ventilation on top to assist the airflow in dissipating heat. With the externals out of the way, we can now focus on the internals. We'll start by removing the four screws on the bottom and attaching the cover. Unlike the CR4, you don't have to worry about damaging a cable that was previously connected to the external drive. Here you can see that the CR5 had a quality of life update and everything is constructed much better. The hardware components can be accessed by removing the cover plating, but since I don't need to make any adjustments, I'll just leave it be. To begin, the CPU is powered by AMD's Ryzen 7. The 5800H chipset was released in 2021 to supersede the 4800U. AMD's CPU uses letters such as H and U to indicate the specific type of processor and its intended use. The U stands for ultra low power and it refers to processors that are designed to prioritize battery life over performance. These processors have a lower TDP and are optimized for maximum energy efficiency. The H stands for high performance and it refers to processors that are designed to prioritize performance over battery life. These processors have a higher TDP and are optimized for maximum performance. The 5800H is an 8-core 16-thread processor with a base clock speed of 3.2 GHz. When overclocked, this can be raised up to 4.2 GHz. For the graphics, it's all integrated from the CPU with Radeon graphics. You can see in action when we get to the performance section. The memory houses two SOTUM slots supporting up to 64 gigabits of RAM. Depending on the model that you select, it either comes with 16 GB or 32 gigs of DDR4 memory. The storage comes installed with a 500 gig or 1 terabyte M.2 SSD. There's also an option to install a 2.5 SATA drive SSD or HDD at a maximum of 2 terabytes. If you're not using the Ethernet LAN port, take advantage of the built-in Wi-Fi. The wireless LAN uses Wi-Fi 6 for the fastest connection speed and Bluetooth 5.2. Wrapping that up, the hardware is cooled down by using an internal cooler fan and transmitting that heat outwards through the ventilations. The fan does get pretty loud, but it also gets the job done. The compatibility for this unit comes pre-installed with Windows 11. If you prefer Windows 10, you can also contact their support and they can help you get that set up with the previous version. It's time to pull out the peripherals and start powering on the PC. The setup process is straightforward and shouldn't take you any time at all, so let's just skip to when we're at the main desktop. This PC is the definition of plug and play. Download whatever software you need and you can just go from there. Of course, I want to test out the performance, so let's start by booting up Steam and playing some games. We're gonna start things off with No Man's Sky, an open world space survival game. Everyone that plays this game knows how intensive it can be for your computer. But with the CR5, it handles this game no problem.
As you can see, this PC handles most games no problem at all, even on high settings. It's even capable of live streaming through OBS at 1080p without any over encoding overload. However, the main thing I want to focus on is video editing. This PC is even capable of encoding and rendering 4K footage. This entire video that you're watching right now was all edited on this very device. This PC is the most versatile device available and can easily replace most desktops. When I reviewed the 4800U, the retail price of that PC starts at $700 for the base model. With the 5800H, the price starts at $335 for the base model, while the high end is $500. For a PC that has been upgraded over its predecessor and at a fraction of that cost, I don't think you would find anything better. Keep in mind though that the price will vary depending on when you decide to look into the device, so make sure to take advantage of any deals that are currently available. It can be purchased on Amazon with 2 day or even same day by using Prime Shipping or directly from B-Link's websites themselves. Links to the product will be in the description of this video. And that will conclude my review of B-Link Serif 5 Pro 5800H. I'm extremely impressed with the overall of this PC and I would highly recommend it to anyone looking to pick one up. Thanks as always for watching and supporting our videos, and we hope to see you again in the next one. See you later.